Thank you. Thank you very much indeed. I'd like to induce, introduce Bruce Cardwell from Belfast. <laughs> Zuna from Poznan, who will be playing with us a little later. And Przemek on the drum. <laughs> A freeborn man of a travelling people Got no fixed abode with nomads I am numbered Country lanes and byways wherever my way I've never fancied
Well, I left Belfast in 1970, really, when things kicked off there, uh, to travel for a, a year or two while things sorted themselves out. And as everybody now knows, the time just dragged on and on. So I find myself traveling for most of those years. And uh, that's why I identified so much with that song when I heard it. It seemed to uh, sum up a lot of what was happening in my own life. Started off, I went over to London, met up uh, with some of the boys there and did a bit of busking in London, Paris, Munich, um, and then I met uh, the love of my life in 1974. And uh, we got married in England and we went over to the West and uh, we had a, a horse and wagon there for a year, baiting the roads of the West. Um, and it was all part of my education. I was playing the one man band in Limerick and cattle fairs, an unlikely venue. Na bloha kraige, a dur saleish na bloha, na xuarach an oit a fuarshiv, levei an dian of air, teanta suas an show, le bruach na chaile, kan fuif an an chloch glas, a gus salach na nian, nishkerten grian an show, aluan gusacharn, le gliondar a chur orai, a duirt na bloha liomsa. Ich komme allein, a stor, to muid fui gehört, a keol na mara. I bumped into a good many men in Scarif in the course of playing rugby there. And how I got my best music job was I went to the Merryman Tavern and the owner was there, right in Oberon. And I said to Maiden, would you be looking for anybody to do the warm up for the, for the big bands when they come? And he wasn't that interested. And then he saw that I was a fair lump of a man. And he said, have you ever played rugby? And I said, well, have I? He said, would you play for Scarif? And I said, well, it's a bit unlikely living in a horse-drawn wagon and playing rugby. He said, I tell you what, if you'll turn out for Scarif, you can have the job. So I was playing tight head prop, being kicked around the country on a Saturday afternoon. Saturday evening, I'd have the shower and be up on the stage doing the warm-up for 
Some great bands, the Furies, the Bothies, the Boys of the Loch. Ladies and gentlemen, it's my great pleasure now to invite uh, Eddie Cassidy uh, to take his seat. <laughs> Eddie plays the flute and it's from County Roscommon. Um, and within a stone's throw of Eddie's village of El Finn, you could, you could uh, find um, numerous houses with um, the best of uh, traditional music in the world, I think. Uh, Eddie has a tune for us.
song that I learned from a teacher of mine at school who collected this song in Belfast, and it's now a legendary anthem of the city of Belfast, and it's called I'll Tell My Ma When I Get Home. <laughs> Is apple pie, she'll have her own lad by and by. And when she gets a lot of her own, well, she won't tell her ma when she comes home. Let them all say what they will, it's Albert Mooney, she loves still. But tell me, ma, when I go home, the boys won't leave the girls alone. I hold my head, I stole my comb, but that's all right till I get home. She is handsome, she is pretty, she is the belle of Belfast. She is courted one, two, three. Please, would you tell me? I first heard that song when I was 14 years old. I was at school and one of our teachers was a man called Davy Hammond. And he was a great collector of street songs and children's songs. And he collected that song. He was the man who was largely responsible for getting me interested in the music. I went with him to the Guinness Festival about 1964. And Davy Hammond was playing with Eddie and Finbar Fury. And the audience consisted of me. There were four of us, Davy Hammond, Eddie Finbar, and myself, with my 14-year-old one bottle of Guinness in my hand, very grown up. And that was me into the music 